Hello everyone, how you doing? Pete, also known as Snaldo here, to give you a, another first look video of a game given to us by Rising Star Games called Decay of Logos. Now, this game, they asked us to give you guys our impressions on it. Now, I played it for um, about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, uh, and uh, not going to lie to you, it, it was uh, a little bit difficult for me, but uh, I wanted to give you guys an honest answer of what was going on with it. So, uh, one thing I wanted to tell you about was the graphics of it. The graphics of it are beautiful. They are clean, they are crisp, they are so intriguing. I found myself really, really entranced by how the graphics looked and how I was running on the horse and, and when I was using abilities and when I was sword swiping. The graphics were great. And then, after you go through a little bit of a tutorial, you end up going into this cinematic like little cutscene and I was just more entranced I was just like wow th these graphics are great this is amazing and I was like all right this is cool you get a horse you're gonna get that you're gonna end up getting uh you know you're gonna get you're gonna get that you're gonna be able to run around you're gonna be able to all right let's sword fight so the first thing that happens when you get into the the next area and you, you know you, you get you get your horse and your horse pretty much it's walking around you try to mount it you can't you have to apparently feed your horse to allow it to run i was i was like what we just we just went through this whole entire process and now i can't even use the horse it doesn't make any sense and then after that you you end up uh starting to go through a fight after fight um through people and there's little pillars and every single time you you touch a pillar it ends up giving you uh, some more information of what what's going on within that world and environment and uh, those were little little tidbits of information on those pillars and and i thought that was really cool now uh the to be totally honest with you guys uh, from from the start um i felt really really r r r the the controls were very clunky now uh, I, I've played a handful of different uh, types of these Dark Soul-esque games, uh, you know, Ashes of Remnant, I, uh, I played a little bit of Dark Souls, not much, uh, back in the day when it was on, uh, it was on console, and uh, the controls felt pretty solid, but with these controls, I felt very clunky, like every single time I tried to target, I would target, and then I would untarget, and I would have to target again, and I would, I would try to roll, and I wouldn't roll right, and Every time I tried to block, I tried to, I would miss a block, and it, it, it didn't seem right. And, and when I did block, uh, finally, it, it didn't really even show it as a block or anything. And then when I would hit the attack button, it was so slow. I was, I was, I, I got, I took so many hits, and I was so aggravated when, when doing it that I was, I was just kind of taken back. And I said, well, I'm like, why, why is this? And then I, I go into a room um, after I, I go down some stairs, and I, I find this barrel, and, and we're bashing barrels with the sword to find essentially healing po potions, so that I can so I can stay alive. And I, and I find this barrel, and it turns into a monster. I'm like, really? Like you're gonna have mimics in this? Like this early in the game? I was like, we're fighting treants outside that are just human trees and now we're fighting these mimics and all they were doing is just rolling you over it's like you had no ability to roll out of the way because the controls are so so wonky that i i just became frustrated and, and after that that little bit of time frame i was like they got to do an update they got to fix it they got to do something to this and i'm hoping after a little bit of time after they get that through uh, i'll try it again and hopefully i'll be able to go through it i mean i'm going from a game like ashen which has got the same type of combat and it, it, that was so fluid and it worked out so well but that no didn't work the way i wanted it to i was not happy about it now um the replay value on it i just wanted to make sure i was clear with it you know beautifully the game is stunning and it is a game that I, I would love love to get more time on and um as long as they can fix that combat it, it would be perfect so it's definitely something that i'm i'm hoping to look forward to so uh I would like to thank once again for Rising Star Games for giving us this code for, for Decay of Logos. I will definitely try to give it uh, a try again after the updates. Uh, and uh, thank you all again. I am Pete, also known as Snaldo, here doing this uh, this first look impression uh, for for this game. And uh, remember, Iron Lord's podcast is on on Sundays, uh, 11 o'clock for the, uh, the, the football season, 1 o'clock during non-football season. And... Uh, 
we also have a stream team uh, podcast also Monday nights, and that is at usually nine o'clock on uh, on the Iron Lords podcast channel. Also, so thank you very much for uh, for checking out this impression, and have a fantastic day. Bye, everybody.